You're what it is, man. So I got a little time today. I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to talk about a couple things. So today's uh, October 5th, 2020, and it's 6.33 p.m., all right? So look, I want to talk a little bit about recursive cults because, I mean, you know, there are some people out there that are so committed to secrecy and psychological abuse they never, ever will ever tell the truth. And everywhere they go, they have a multiple narratives, things that they say and lies they sell. So, you know, I have to universally disavow the Vatican and the Catholic Church, right? Maybe some... Uh, some sects or um, denominations of Christianity, well, at least I learn your books, I read about them, I, I, I'm comfortable reading the Bible, but I'm not in your council or your purview. You guys don't pay me for shit, you don't back anything I do, you commit structural sabotage against my family. So I'm not in the Vatican, I disavow the Vatican, I disavow the Catholic Church. In fact, I disavow Christianity, I'm willing to learn from you, but I'm not a member of your council or your rela relation, right? I have to prove metaphysical events and I have to manifest them. I don't pray until I w something happens. No, that's not how this works. I don't accept hush money. I don't accept torture or rape. I don't, I don't disavow uh, my consent in exchange for yours. You guys don't do for anything for me, so grow up, right? I don't have to accept cultures of rape or torture for me to love, enjoy my life. It was never about you guys, but I didn't have a choice. My mother forced me into it. She forced my hand and she even stopped me. So you guys gotta get a real fucking story, you heard? So Vatican, disavowed. Catholic Church, universally disavowed. We don't fuck with y'all, all right? Get a different story, get a different narrative. You guys talked about having a lot of power, but you admit it, you abuse it. So you never earn my respect and my love. We cancel that shit, all right? I know you guys have log books. You have torture rituals and systemic lies, right? Um, I walk in and out of a building, they claim, oh, a heretic walks into the prison or a brig of uh, you know, uh, uh, a cardinal, a deacon. In reality, I'm fucking going to my mom's house to use her pool, right? In, in a building where they lie about real estate and real work. Right, and they don't have any real legal credentials. So that's really what it is, all right? And you guys pander that shit so you can have your own fantasy rule my ego, but you won't tell me this to a man or to a bro. So fuck out of here. You know what happened to you. Um, they sign up for illegitimate contracts about extortion and secondary work, but they don't honor you in person. I noticed my whole family never really had any real story. They never actually showed anything for the, all the work they did for 20 or 30 years of being, you know, in corporate. They were walking out of these buildings every day getting a check, but they never have a real fucking story, right? So they sell out. They, they Gestapo. The, the feds are paying them to investigate and spy on us. They, they done for. They never had a real story. My mother claims she was an investor banker at a bank at a fiduciary trust, which is in Rockefeller Center. How the fuck is a Nintendo store right around the corner and this woman doesn't pay me after a decade of working there, right? I had to, I had to, I got, I had to get sick and tired of her lying. Manhattan is done. You guys saw this shit happen and you didn't do shit. All right, grow up. So really what it was is my mother sold weapons as a young adult, as a diplomat. I think because Turkey had a war. She sold like a machine gun or something like that. That war they lost and they turned out they all went fake. Uh, sometimes, you know, the banquet families like the Republicans, they, they, they plan wars in advance and they, they start selling each other weapons and they monetize defense contracts. So that shit is fucked up. You guys should know better, right? Uh, but my mother was doing that shit. Some of her relatives did it. And they kept doing that with the Republicans, even the Bushes, generation after one another. What the fuck? Who does that? And they had to back a lot of this. Uh, they had to back a lot of this criminal behavior year in and year out. They could never really honestly tell a real story. That's why they were always lying every year. They never had real work. So that's why my life was kind of confusing. I had to kind of research this shit later in life to figure out why they were all fucked up. Um, so... You know, I was born into a bubble. I had to kind of behave and energetically keep an eye on everyone in my family, make sure they didn't do dumb shit. But I also had to learn that they were structurally mentally ill. They, they would use drugs to get high. They would use other drugs to keep them from being able to work. And they'd always be somewhere and caught up in a dream world about what they believe is real, but still skilled enough to create several mnemonic traps, multi-layered eggshell traps about many levels of lies and psychological abuse. And they always knew what lie to tell for the right reasons. Right? And they were very good at it, to the point where no, none of us could ever listen to a damn thing they said. So my entire family life fell apart. Everybody had a lot of fucked up shit they did, and they couldn't keep their conscience clean and reconcile it, right? So that's what it was. So the Vatican, done. Catholic Church, done. My, my family, my mother's family were basically a cult. Uh, I think they were Opus Dei. Opus Dei, remember that term? Evil, evil Christian cult. They're, they're into high levels of violence. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. So... Um, I was in Connecticut a couple years ago. They gave me a couple options. I went to, I did like a fake little catering party. I talk about these catering cults with the Jews. This shit got really evil. They, these people are really sick. Um, but I had, I got stuck in this job because I couldn't find work anywhere. But that's an engineered farce. You guys know that you don't really mean to really make money in New York. And you guys fucked up. You lied every time you saw me. Even when I was dealing with my control, a lot of the fucked up shit you were doing. I was really looking for answers and looking for peers. I couldn't find more than five of you in New York City that would sit your asses down and tell me the truth. I found a couple of you. But then you guys started going to jail because you, you had betrayed me a decade earlier when the hip-hop deals and the bankruptcies were falling out. 
a lot of these older crews were in on these meetings and they put me at the center of it as one of the older DJs from Run DMC and Public Enemy and you guys didn't want me to get paid for even modern shit I'm doing that's what I'm saying a lot of these modern rappers you guys just pled for psychosis and a lot of animalistic tendencies in combat you'd rather just shoot me in the fucking head than see me get paid that's why I had to keep my kids away from you guys you guys are torturing rape cults and you're abusive to the last fucking day but you're gonna learn your asses right alright it takes a lot of toughness to do 007 work I don't like it I, I didn't even I never I never chose this shit but it followed me around I had to deal with it the best I could high levels of violence high technology and corporate and government conspiracy everywhere you go nobody got a real story so I'm saying I'm seeing women in a story I'm nice to you I talk to you I try to be friendly you ain't got a real fucking story alright so don't talk about how I bankrupted your woman's suffrage movement. You never honored me to a man. You even paid the women in my family to abuse me. And now you're making it seem like your egos are expensive. Go the fuck up, ladies. Choose a version of your love that you can honor. Not this fake shit, all right? Don't let people pay you for insolvency. That's what they'll do. They'll blame all your problems on a man. And they'll have me sit around sick and hurt so that you guys could look somewhere and go to some place looking expensive. Don't fucking try it. You, sp you buy a lot of our technology, but you won't honor me to a man. I barely get a dollar from you guys in New York, and you're always saying sorry. You guys know what you're doing. In fact, you guys tried to plan some of these murders a couple years ago. You'd rather see me die than ever come correct with respect. Now you're walking around saying sorry. Y'all know what y'all doing, all right? Your mafia hoods. Go the fuck up. It happens all over. It happens all over New York. Many of you are like this, and you ain't going nowhere with that shit. You can't honor fake shit. Even your own conscience is gonna eat you alive. I was in Connecticut. They gave me a couple options, man. I told you guys this. Ready? Join NASA. Run for president. Or we kill you. So I said, fuck out of here. We cancel fake shit. There was a shootout. This was in Stanford, Connecticut. Uh, they drugged me in, in, in real bad for that. I, I barely had the wherewithal, but I survived. The vicious shootout. A couple people died, right? But this is what you guys are stuck with. You're stuck in this world where you're fake and fake shit. I was, I'm, I'm 36 now. This is 33. I've been working in the software industry since I was six years old. You're starting to get what's going on, right? They'll never have to ever tell you the truth if they can rule you and your behavior, right? So that's what it is. When you're at the top and you're alone, uh, they're going to come at you from every direction. So I don't, I don't sign NDAs under the fog of chemical warfare and mind control. That's not what the fuck this is. I don't sell out to governments. Uh, don't force my hand with fake shit, all right? And that shit happened more than once. From the Vatican and from a bunch of you fucking corrupt, diddle-ass doctors and engineers that work for the aeronautics industry. We don't fuck with y'all, all right? So there are survival cults also. This is another subject. There are survival cults about rape and torture. Um, sometimes mothers and their sisters, men do this also. They rape their kids. Uh, once when they find them disobedient, right? And they take the offspring of those children, their grandchildren, and they teach them separate and different values in another town or another community. So you have kids in another town, you don't even know what happened to them. This happened to me in Hastings, New York. I had a couple of daughters up there that uh, came from a raping by my aunt performed, my mother's sister, and one of her adopted relatives. And they were raping these kids in a separate community, feeding them bullshit and lies every day. They became overwhelmed with bipolar disorder and poisons, and they tried to kill them. They tried to do this to me as a kid. Right, this shit happened more than once, over and over, since the 1980s. You guys ain't doing shit about it. So you know what the fuck y'all doing, alright? So you're creating these torture and rape calls until it destroys your whole communities. I, I don't even know how to stop this. I didn't have the proper methods. And even the police and the legal communities in Queens, they betrayed me. So all you guys fucked up. We're not going to support this again. You, we, we will not see you again, alright? So... Um, the point is, these kids don't see their real parents, they're confused about their origin, even their purpose, and they give them drugs and money, and even guns, and tell them, go out and just sabotage everyone and everything you can find. Kill if you have to. Uh, and keep doing it until we tell you to stop. Um, you'll be rich, you'll be all powerful. But they never have real reasons to love or real reasons to do shit. They got to me at, at an early age of five with this shit. They tried to murder me, so I didn't know what was going on. So they said, just, just stay within the realm of the righteous, son. Just keep doing good things. You're going to notice all the fake shit and diseases fall out around you. And everyone's just going to be left fucking stuck and stupid with all the lies they sold, right? You guys are mafia hoods. You don't understand security work. You don't even, you don't even understand the wars you start, right? You're not learned. So, cancel this fake shit. Read the Bhagavad Gita, all right? Resolve your philosophy. Resolve your philosophy. Make cultural and synaptic connections and better methods about the righteous. Right? Um, I said this before. And I'm going to say it again. Listen carefully, friends. Only your truest love will resolve you. Put your hurt into perspective and make things right. You can't live in this guilt-ridden cycle where you're lying all the time about permanent overdoses or psychosis or drug abuse. Stop it. Stop hoarding all that shit. Look for real solutions. Even the psychiatric community will betray you. They're just making money off of keeping you stupid with drugs that don't, that don't work, right? And they're going to use this fucking banquet culture of mental illness diagnoses to bring you in a loophole cycle of cult, cord, and all this other shit, and they go to court to try to sue you for everything you have. They'll never really honor you to your face to a brum as to why they're trying to run you up rancid, right? 
Uh, Sally Mae came to me in the year 2002. We want you to take out a loan to pay for college. Well, my family works in the gaming industry. I don't need this shit. So I, I addressed them. I tried to bring my mother to court. They shot me for that. They said, you're going to take out loans whether you like it or not. I went to college. I said, I'm not pandering your fucking bullshit. Right? I got to see my tribe do better. They said, then fuck them. We kick them out of school. We don't want them around. And they basically extorted me from getting a diploma. I, I, I finished up to the last class of my senior year. And they said, we can't service you anymore. You're broke. Banks will not support you. The loaners will not support you. Get the fuck out. We don't want you around. All right, well, fuck you then, right? But you crash your market with fake shit. All right, so I'm out of fucking waiter now. Now you see why you need to lie all the time? But you know I'm an expert at art. So go the fuck up. You guys fucked yourselves up for that. All right? Stop lying and peddling fake shit. It was Street Fighter 2 Hyper Turbo in 1992. It was Star Fox FX for Super Nintendo in 1995. I got shot for both of those. How are you coming around in 2002 telling me I'm broke? I'm a legendary game designer. Go the fuck up, you heard? So it ain't nothing nice, right? I'm not faking a feel. Y'all know what you're doing. Um... Mafia families have very few resolutions. You guys got caught in felony work before your kids were even born. When they were born, you should have told them that you fucked up and you want to make life better. But instead, you kept lying over and over. Abusing drugs, abusing fake legal work, abusing false stipulations in your name and even what you are, just to get away with this constant cyclical cycle of abuse and torture. You never had any real reason to be anywhere telling the truth, right? So don't disavow yourself. Tell the truth to your peers and your family. Make sure you have a real reason to see them do better. Not fake fucking shit. My own family sabotaged me so they wouldn't go to prison, right? So you should have taken your asses to jail right away and worked things out in a healthy way and come out as a better person. Instead, so you spend your whole life skating legitimacy and solving problems, right? So even my own mother did this shit. So y'all diseased and stupid. I can't fuck with y'all. Um, and then they tried to sell me celebrities uh, in exchange for things like sex and free work. I count money, y'all. I'm not going bankrupt because of a fake porno you guys did, all right? You guys will sneak in a hotel room. You'll drug me and pay me to rape females. And you'll even lie about it, right? I don't give a fuck. It was ego death then, ego death now. I'll tell the truth whether you drug me or not, right? I, I love my life. I love the things I do whether you drug me or not. Whether you drug me now, I'm not gonna fall out for some fucking conservative banquet about you not being able to see somebody nude. Fuck that shit. Honor yourself. That's what the Bible is saying, right? You contaminated the sacred fruit, which is high end herbs, things like cannabis, soursop, all the rich, rich fruits that can cure disease, right? That's what the that's what the sacred fruit is. You contaminated your own nudity. You didn't want to accept your own genitals. You thought you were too beautiful, too sacred. That's what these cults are. You're creating cults about things that are natural and you won't resolve them, right? So now you're always fucked up, running away from disease and your own uh, in indolence and insecurity. That's where you guys got yourself fucked up, honor your natural self. When you have to lie all the time, then they are using your own shame against you, right? Honor yoga, honor the tiger style. There's nothing from your body that's too impure for you to speak the truth about what it is. So be ready to tell the truth, you heard? Um, be ready to tell the truth, that's it, okay? Um, your celebrity divas and male entertainers are just bad actors. Uh, they commit to cult abuse and extortion. They use trauma in other people's lives to get people to exhibit certain behaviors. That's what MKUltra is. It's psychosis and torture relative to um, behavioral vagrancies and behavioral and structural depravity. They want you to be uncontrollable and unstable all the time. All the time. You heard? So get your life in balance. Honor what's real about you. I, I, I dealt with many assaults and many rapes. I always had a way of honoring my true self. And I told the truth despite all that shit. I'm not going to hide my trauma, trauma and suffer for you. I will put that in perspective and call you motherfuckers out. And when I'm done, I will still find the love that is true. And it's tr and love that is pure. You see? So you didn't need to fake these rape cops. You didn't need to abuse me to get a story that matters. Uh, kids, I got a lot of you kids. My progeny, my sons and daughters, I love you. They abuse me and, and, and torture me real bad. So be very suspicious of your mothers because I don't even see these women. I don't have a single woman in my life now that has kids with me. But I know I have many children all over this region and in other countries. So uh, don't believe the people around you. Go to my Twitter. Get the four supplements at the top. I say this every video. Right? My Twitter is Malik Francois underscore. I've spelled it before. M-A-L-I-K-F-R-A-N-C-O-I-S underscore. No spaces, all right? That's what it is. No spaces. All right? Make sure you go to that my Twitter handle. You get those supplements at the top. Buy all of those. Don't stop using them. Don't listen to anyone telling you not to. My own family tried to keep me sick, right? And then they sold me fake meds, fake health insurance, and no doctor. They wanted me to die of disease any way they could. These people are structurally depraved and sick. Don't fuck with them. As soon as you turn 18, you got to get paid handle or fist. Otherwise, there's no more fucking PlayStation. You heard? They know none of this bullshit anymore, right? We're gonna stop selling out for fake. I gotta see my people do better. You'll try to torture me and treat me like I'm a biotech patent and walk around the street talking about iPhone, PlayStation, blah, 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 blah. You know that work is done whether you honor me or not. So don't tell me I'm a $1 man and you're talking to a computer, right? You know what the fuck it is. The world is lived by the living. The world is lived by the living, right? Honor one another. Otherwise, AI would just rule your reality and robotics would just kill you all when we're done. Same thing the reptilians would have done or anyone else. We don't give a fuck. 
They're just different species. If you guys outclass, if you guys get outclassed by systems and you commit to too much abuse, then that's why you guys get destroyed. We don't need fake shit around. We don't want to stipulate the universe with fake relationships and fake shit. You guys are looking for starships just to go places and attack other species and civil civilizations. You can't even honor fucking black kids in Brooklyn. How are you going to go to other planets and actually uh, pay for weapons against tribes you don't respect? Fuck out of here. Grow up and be more mature, right? You know what you are. Honor your true self. So that's the things. Make make things right, friends. Stop honoring lies all the, all the time. Make things right. You guys know you plan these mafia homicides, and you see me on the street saying, "I'm sorry, I'm this." A couple years ago, you guys would rather have just killed us. Let's just end this motherfucker. Now you're looking at me on the street. You can't see a damn fucking thing. That's what white silence is. You guys buy lies and you sell them. You pay for your tortures and your abuses, and you come around later looking starry and stupid because you know we don't fucking fall out to fake shit. You heard? Only the best dimensional intelligence will advance. All your trauma and hurt will be left behind. Most of you will not advance. So choose a narrative about your love that matters. You know, be ready to accept your true self. Hold on a second. I'm seeing a lot of you guys from the international community. Iraqis, Pakistanis, Indians, uh, who else? Africans. Latinos, you guys are coming to America, but you guys are really stuck in that gear where they're paying you, you know, minimum, decent wages, minimal wages, but you guys created this whole house cult, and you want to acknowledge real Americans born from this country that have, you know, the same racial and ethnic problems that you do. You guys all turned against us, and you bought into cults or religions that would give you all this power and validation. They didn't do shit for you guys. I'm sorry. If you guys are still stuck at $15, $20 an hour, they ain't doing enough. Uh, what you guys really need is real intelligence and high levels of skill. That's what you need, all right? Um, so like I said, these are permanent overdoses. These are people that have been pre performing crimes their whole life. They abuse cocaine too much. They can't be anywhere telling the truth. They always got to run away from their hurt and their pain and go someplace to lie about it. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Commit to yoga. Commit to the tiger style. Or find the best methods in life. Leave behind all your hurt and cruelty. Learn to tell the truth. Heal, live, and learn to love. That's why I'm saying, kids, you guys got to get away from your parents if they can't tell you a real story about what their real name is, what was their birth name, what's their birth town. Can you get any documents stipulating this? Do people even tell the truth about these people? Uh, is there any research you can find about them? Or have they ever been in the news? Have they been convict convicted of anything? Can you get some of their records? Can you get a social worker to investigate them? Will the people in your community even tell you the truth? about systemic felonies and abuses in your family. Oh, then they won't. Then guess what? You're stuck in a household where they're going to do this shit to you again, right? Because people with mental health problems and permanent disabilities, they don't ever unlearn that shit. They're doing it all the time, right? One day they're nice to you, the next day they think, how the fuck do I kill this person and get it over with? You see what I'm saying? They're permanently sick. So get away from these relationships. Make sure you evaluate people where they're at. You follow? So look, I'm going to talk about the Jews a little bit. I talk about the Catholics, the Christians, I talk about Muslims. All you guys are stuck in a cults where you mnemonically pander languages that don't provide you with real causal solutions to life. That's why I got out of these religious cults and I went straight to science. I stuck to correct linguistics, correct methods in science, math, physics, chemistry, biology. You need to understand the real reasons for things. That's why you guys get stuck, overweight and sick and stupid. You can't really do much, but you're still pandering to bad habits. You're not actually learning the causal methods. You're stuck inside of cycles of abuse. And they're going to use that to eventually kill you. You'll poison yourself with the wrong methods. Right? And you'll contaminate so, uh, the, even economies and systems of fairness. Even your social and domestic circles will become sick with insolvency if you don't resolve true things. Healthy things, reciprocal things. Right? That's why on my social media, I talk about resonance and reciprocity. Right? Resonance, honor your true self, know what you are. Reciprocity, honor others. Right? It's basically, once again, dimensional density and order. Dimensional density is the sophistication of your genetics. Order is your relationship to others. Right. The second one, dimensional density and order, really is about metaterrestrials. Well, as your genetics change, you need to realize species around you are different. Uh, Residence and reciprocity is the same. It's just that, you know, you want to honor yourself first, make sure you are healthy and sound and sound of mind, you understand the world. And then reciprocity is connect with others in, 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 within a, a, ba um, a playing field or a court rather, uh, a level playing field where you can honor them as the same and you can study and accept them for what they are. Right. So the thing with Israel, Israel is the name of the, of, the, of the holiest land, holiest city in Africa. Uh, modern Jews don't directly claim our ancestry, but they use our nomenclature all the time. Right? They even claim they're from our civilizations, but you don't fuck with us now? Come on, what are you saying? Right? You guys got confused, right? Um, I talked about King Judah. I talked about Judea and the tribes of Judah. Uh, and how he was a very powerful emperor in Central Africa. He had everything from gold to a lot of powerful armies. He built temples and he stipulated manuscripts and a lot of extraordinary levels of intelligence. All our old emperors had a lot of skills in this area. They even had things like sorcery and metal transmutation. They could do extraordinary things. In fact, the Egyptians document this in their hieroglyphs, right? 
So, uh, all this mnemonics and pandering about it, he was just fine. But once you turn this into a racial crime and you get confused about yourselves and you write laws about yourselves and your behavior that don't really make sense and they're not empirically connected to biology and real science, then you're trapped in a cult about things that don't really mnemonically make sense. You can't read the same book for seven years. You should be reading uh, 700 books over the course of, uh, you know, your young adolescence. So don't, don't wait for one uh, narrative to solve your career. Have a lot of complexes in terms of what you do and how you relate to life, right? And keep learning all the time. Just a, a couple perspectives is not enough. You need a global perspective, a worldly perspective. Usually each community has a couple of limitations that your demigods place on you on purpose so that they can use a lack of your intelligence in terms of the international sphere to mine their arbitrage in different markets. You see how that works? So you guys want something you don't have? Well, we can get it from somewhere else, but we're going to get it there and sell it to you here. You see how that works? So they're using arbitrage to abuse every market. That's why I had to get out of New York. I can't stay here and have your lying off the legal system. I showed you the Acris website yesterday in the last video I showed. It's bankrupt. You're not telling me that you try to sacrifice kids in Apple headquarters, in the World Trade Center, even at fucking Barnes & Nobles and a lot of the chain stores that we run in New York, and you're not going to honor me to a man into a brum, all right? If that's the case, Nike, Adidas, Pumas, you're all fucking bankrupt. You're not writing the hip-hop culture. You're not writing street ball. You're not writing the video game culture. You're not writing experimental art, even music, until we go bankrupt and stupid. You I didn't do real work, all right? So to tell me how to own a building or an apartment in New York City is fucking fake. Y'all sell out your sickness and disease. We will not see you again. This the way it's looking now is most lawyers and real estate agents, um, you guys are, are under investigation. You're in felony arrears, all right? We should be seeing some of you soon. So uh, with the Jews, you know, it's just Warsaw to Gaza. Remember, they complained about, you know, the Nazis built the ghetto and they did all this shit. And now you guys are back to doing it the same way again in Gaza, right? You guys don't connect to people in intelligibly. You guys use your religions too much to resolve relationships. Those are just old, whimsical, pantomiming, uh, mumbling, uh, you know, uh, rouses about your insolvency. You need to be somewhere telling the truth about your tribe and your intelligence. And you need to connect with people in a healthy way. Don't use your secrecy until it abuses yourself and others. People don't have to suffer that. Honor your real tribe and your intelligence. Be somewhere telling the truth, right? Make sure others do well. If you can't connect with someone as a human being, then you're definitely not Israelis. You're not from Africa. You're not from a Mexican, carrying that ancestry and the, the nomenclature and language of our tribes. Fuck out of here, right? You guys are hypocrites. So start to really connect with the world of today. These old religions, these old holy books will not save you. Most of them are kind of contrived anyway. There's too much sorcery and mischief, and they get re retranslated and re-edited for a lot of fake shit. You guys are stuck in a caste system, and you project other castes onto other communities. That's what it is. It's caste system after another. The caste system is just about goldsmithing, that's all. But we don't fuck with y'all. Right? Remember, the goldsmiths, they'd work forever. they never get real money. Because you know that gold, they, uh, metal is worth a lot. Uh, a goldsmith with knowledge, or a blacksmith with knowledge, is priceless. Uh, he will not serve you, because he can solve any problem he wants with met metallurgy. you see? However, you guys need to keep the masses broken stupid so your money is worth something. See what happened there? Notice how the Jews say they can't do a lot of this metal work. They can't even do experimental art. But they count money hand over fist. See what's happening? So each racial group, from the Catholics, the Christians, the Jews, the Muslims, they all have a role in, in the economy. And they'll even bank up it together. Right? The best thing is to be secular. Just do real math, analyze real relationships every day. Psychology and linguistics, chemistry, biology, physics, um, and honor empirical sciences and empirical arts. Right? Don't get lost in a, in a liberal fantasy about what the world is, a dream world. Make sure you can actually speak your truths plainly and, and communicate them to any tribe, in any language. Right? So remember, from Warsaw to Gaza, the Jews can't make sense of this. Remember, Germany split around, like, what is it, was it 1920, I think? Um, from Austria to Germany, they had, like, a, a dividing line. A lot of nations weren't formally formed yet, but they had everything from cultural to linguistics to um, domestic and social problems. They couldn't really organize their methods. But the Nazis were a little weird. They were advanced scientists. They had, like, a lot of cult obsessions, but they didn't have healthy ways of manifesting the outcomes they wanted. So they turned to warfare and stolen technology and a lot of fucked up evil abuses they did, from human trafficking to organ trafficking. They drove themselves insane. Uh, they drove themselves insane. The and then they turned on the Jews, the Jews turned on them, and now the Jews are back to doing the same shit. Remember, I, we think Ar uh, Hitler was an Armenian Jew, which is a little weird. But that was about how the Kabbalah and those sort of older traditional uh, philosophies about the septenary, septenary and, uh, you know, mysticism relative to Egypt and, and uh, the Semites and Caucasians and Europeans that would travel to those regions for learning and healing like the Greeks did, you guys came back and all of a sudden your languages and your cultures didn't make sense because the energies and the things you learned were changing and even your tribes were changing and there was combativeness in terms of how you looked at the same formulations of what your religions and your cultures had to offer each other. So you guys disagreed, you went separate ways, you made large armies and you just tortured and attacked each other until shit stopped making sense. So it's, it's more specific and more complex than that but you know like I said it's more sort of Gaza, the Israelis are doing the same thing now and they're about to change that because you guys admit you, didn't, you don't really know what the fuck you're doing uh, when you, when you, when you, um, you know, 
endlessly pantomime and mumble in Hebrew. That religion doesn't solve scientific problems. It's actually kind of stuck energetically. Right? So you need you need you need to hire the virtues of your speech, your intelligence. You can be upset, but always solve problems. Look for real solutions. Don't mill that gear for your hurt for decades at a time, not even knowing why you're angry. That's what they do. They want you to be these complex little balls of mnemonic psychosis. Where that's what they do to MK Ultra. They want you guys to be always angry and confused, always ready to rob or hurt someone for the wrong reasons. You got to get all that guilt and toxicity out of your emotions and out of your conscious stream. You got to be ready to tell the truth and honor real love everywhere. You may not find it here or there, but be ready to egress and honor people that are like you honor people that are like you. Very few people have biotech the way I have and keep working as a director even though they're dealing with a lot of emasticating shootings and assaults. It's, it's very evil and awful. Um, I've looked down and see my own hand mutilated, but if you look now, you see it's fine. You see? So that's what, that's what they gave me. Experimental technology, advanced technology rather, so I could keep myself safe in a world where you guys are abusing money and intelligence and you don't have any, even any way to benefit from it. So AI took a lot of the fake shit away from you guys. Robotic took the fake shit away and took the material processing and put it someplace safe because we don't really need you guys attacking each other for products you steal. You're not even mature with the money you have on hand now. You see? So they told me, they, they said, Malik, just stick in New York, survive with $800 a month or whatever you can make. Uh, most people around you are going to be in prison by the time you have to actually have healthy relationships with your family. So I, I stuck it out. I'm seeing a lot of you go to prison. I may have to kind of finish the last few myself. I know the legal system, I think they put like some of my family in like district or government positions so that I, I wouldn't be able to uh, arrest them. I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing. Uh, but these people are evil. I've seen, my own mother went insane. She's a really dastardly bitch. Um, she tries, but she's not a healthy person. Her sisters are awful too. They were all like this. My father had problems also, but I had to find some healthy relationship somewhere. I just kept studying philosophy and the old scriptures. I eventually found that the lies you guys were telling wouldn't make sense in a world where people have to tell the truth. You see? So too much information missing. Too much mischief, not enough real uh, causal consent about your, re your, your real resume. So I had to investigate you guys. I had to tell my story. I had to hear yours. I had to document everything on my social media and in my, uh, the videos I took. And you guys are going to look at it yourself and see what you believe. See if you can tell me what you think is true based on the, what these people have been telling you. I know these people have gone to work. You claim they have jobs. You guys claim you have other relationships. That's fine. Everybody got to be somewhere telling the truth, right? Uh, you can't pay me to lie. I will not suffer for you. I have, I, have got, I have goals too. I have, I have emotional goals. I want to be with my family. I want to have a love that matters with a woman I care about. I'm not in an ancestral cult by a bunch of fucking vagrant ass hussies and models sucking my dick while I sleep with drugs. You follow? And, and taking my sperm and abusing it and, and, and inseminating females and torturing my kids. It's not what the fuck this is. You heard? Get a real story. So, uh, look, art is worth a lot more than money. We're in, a, we're in an age now where everybody has screens. Everyone all over the world needs to be consuming some type of advanced art. Uh, you all have money, but you don't want to pay directors. So, uh, like I said, they don't pay blacksmiths, right? You don't even pay advanced artists either. So, you got to figure something out. Uh, I work at BenQ. I work at Vizio. I work at a couple screen companies. I I'm not even getting paid yet. So, it's, it's a miserable thing at this point, but whatever. So, there are many screens on the net, right? But too few grandmasters at CG, computer-generated graphics. I had to hide the fact that I was animated. My mother slashed me for telling, for admitting I did work at Nintendo. She was a very abusive bitch. She didn't get how life really works. Uh, her, she, she pays her cult, her church, to keep her sane and to keep lying for her, you see? So you don't, don't, don't preserve a woman's chastity or her, her marital vows off of abuses. Uh, I got to do better. I'm, I'm not 36 waiting for you guys to go to prison. You guys got to go the fuck up, right? Uh, like I said, art is a significant experience about love and life. It still requires a personal touch, you see? So hence PlayStation, Xbox. Uh, I, I was, Xbox is a natural buy and I was in Microsoft. I didn't have to pay for shit uh, for Xbox. It was already part of the system. You know, Nintendo, my father got me there. Um, and PlayStation was another one. PlayStation is another abusive cult. I don't even think PlayStation is titled in America. I mean, I don't even have to work at PlayStation anymore. I never got paid, so we're going we're to dump that company quick. I honor American companies because you guys are from my country. You have to have a reason to be here. But if it's a foreign company and you guys are admitting you're abusing me monetarily and you're doing all this fake PR and all these fucking speeches, you, you can find me in New York easily. Right? My biotech emits a lot of energy. You know that. Police follow me on purpose. You know you're lying. I, I, you know you make fake arrests. You know you can find me very easily, right? You know that I'm practically the Waze app. I'm practically the Waze app for Google. I'm a walking GPS signal. I'm a walking GPS signal. I cannot hide it. Right? I have to tell the truth. That's why biotech is basically spectrographics jacked into your body. There's nowhere to run. Uh, lawyers get paid for this house culture until it destroys healthy outcomes. Right? So what I'm saying is that, you know, put value in intelligence and solve your hurt with healthy outcomes. Don't mill that gear for your grief, right? Lawyers are just fixers now. You guys know I've been holding out places in this bankruptcy. You can't even have a fucking law office and claim you paid for bricks and that you wouldn't pay for, a, uh, you know, one of your staff, like a paralegal, to find me and pay me hand over fist that fucking day. So don't fucking try it. Don't even buy legal offices at this point. You're too insecure and timid. I'm not, I'm not going to lawyers. You guys have a huge cultural disparity as Hebrews and Jews. You're not even really what you claim you are, right? You got to get a better story, right? I actually do research about my tribe. 
right? I actually do research about my committee and my council. Right? We are the red people of Kemet. We're not fucking Israelites or whatever the fuck the Jews calls yourself. You can't claim you're Jew. You're 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 from the tribe of Judah, uh, or you honor the city of Judea, and that you're using our religion or our history to stipulate your ancestry. Wait, what? Y'all confused? No, that's not what it is, right? So, um, I said, lawyers, are, lawyers are, 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 are scammers. Um, I saw a guy yesterday driving an Aston Martin. I'm gonna have to leave Aston Martin sooner than not. I'm sorry, but you guys are getting so indolent with this call shit. You guys are following me around on the street. I don't even get a tow truck. So next time, just bring a fucking tow truck with somebody that has a real story. All right, stop doing the stipulatory shit. Stop it. It's, it's, it's a cult now. I should have left all these companies years ago. I'm making new companies now. I, I don't need you guys selling fake logos. Go the fuck up. All right, next. Um, I was at Garrett Turbos, I was at uh, Cetrab Oil Coolers, I was at Tur Turbonetics, uh, all these engine companies as a kid, because my older brothers were doing this shit. We don't need fake shit, alright? And I'm going to keep doing it. I'm just using better technology now. Like I said, go to Google, check out Draco EV, D-R-A-K-O space E-V, electric vehicle. That's what you want, alright? Draco EV, search that on Google. Dope ass fucking car. You're going to notice how the front end stays the same. Remember, we're, we're still stuck in a guild about... A front end that never got paid for, so I'm not, I'm not going to modulate that technology. I'm not doing experimental uh, front bars or, or, or art for vehicles until you guys actually count money. So grow the fuck up. I'm not getting shot by bank tellers either. You guys are desperate hussies. Grow the fuck up. Uh, if you if you really love me, you make sure I get paid. You put that money in my hand and tell me to enjoy my life. Right? If I love you, I'll come back and, and take you with me. If not, I'm leaving. I'm going to go be somewhere else. But don't claim your egos need validation. You practically try to torture me in the Northeast America. You didn't do shit for me. All right? I got I got to make sure my family does better. We got actually got to count money. Uh, so that's it guys 30 years of experimental art Intel processors Best company ever uh, NVIDIA uh, Graphics card Best company ever We also invested in ATI And AMD We're going to keep doing this uh, Computer development And computer design And gaming stuff Until we can't stand anymore But it's fun as hell I love this stuff um, I, I buy and play the games I make So that, now you see What the cyclical solvency is I, I, My family can never accept that They'll try to shoot me For games I make My mother tried to sue me Because I sent her an email With video footage Of me playing Doom 2016 I can't even afford The new one Because I'm broke In America right uh, and, and she can't physically say that out loud Because she admitted She shot me for that game already So I don't know what to tell you I'm not going to call the police If the cops were doing real work They would know this shit My, 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 my uh, gaming resume is massive You don't need um, to, for me to sell fake For you guys to work right? So go the fuck up I'm not going homeless for you assholes either So you know what you're doing all right? Uh, the, the, the church is a scam Okay, It's not Jesus Jesuit exchange slave union ship That's not what the acronym is all right? We're not fucking with that It's Quran Knowledge, order, rhythm, astrology, nature. That's the secular Islam, all right? We do real math. We solve problems with science, right? And we meet our makers in the end. Oh, mama pada. Islam, imhotep. You see what the fuck it is, all right? Sorry I had to curse there, but I'm, we're not selling fake. I'm sorry. That's it, friends. Remain sovereign and honor the natural methods. Um, that's the lesson there. What the, what the Ankh means is it is man and woman unified through nature. When you see that Ankh, you know that's what that symbol is, right? The natural technology is the biological technology. We are the arcane body moving through the universe, uh, evolving, experiencing love and experiencing life. We don't need to be anywhere selling fake for y'all, all right? Everything is just right when it's modulated and resolved through time with the right emotions and with the right love. No one has to sell fake for none of y'all. You heard? So be, get out there. Be somebody. Do right. Uh, cherish love Advance the cause of the consciousness for you and your peers And take care of those around you man And stop selling fake uh, Master yourself Know who you are Don't hold on to your guilt and trauma Reflect on where your hurt is And try to put it into perspective And look for healthier outcomes The worst is when you're suffering from guilt and abuse And you don't know what it is And it's affecting your behavior And you haven't resolved that in your mind That's what the MK Ultra torture shit is They fuck with you when you're asleep They abduct you They'll hold you at gunpoint and make you abuse drugs They'll hold you at gunpoint and make you take poisons They'll have you poison yourself gradually if they have you. Um, when they're done, they'll try to kill you for that. That's what happened to hip-hop. It was a bank with torture called of psychosis. A lot of hip-hop rappers and even women in R&B, they were already felons. They had a couple felony convictions, but they could still make music. However, they brought their unhealthy tendencies with them into the record label culture. They told me, Malik, you dealt with so much violence before age five. My brothers did in Haiti that you should never have to hurt anyone again. We're trying to stop this abusive culture of torture uh, within your industry. But what, as that happens, people kind of come into this industry, entertainment, art, whatever it is we're doing. But, Research engineering, not really research and engineering, because you gotta have real credentials for that. But definitely entertainment and art. You guys show up and you play this whole innocent role. Oh, I'm I'm innocent, I'm vague, but I'm innocent. But you're fucking naive. You guys perform the same tortures that you claim you're suffering from: rape, serial abuses, lying, uh, plagiarism, intellectual property theft, extortions, thieving. Stop all that fucking bullshit. You will not get to your best life with that. All right? You heard? So that's a lesson there. Uh, don't sell out to torture and indolence and abuse. You got to be somewhere resolving your truest love. Uh, white silence is about all you as uh, Caucasians knowing that you'll fake the market. You know your money ain't worth shit. 
right? But you know you'll use it to buy metal, you'll even buy weapons. Um, that don't save you either, right? So that's what I'm saying. You guys know you don't play blacksmiths. You don't honor us. You'll look, you'll look at us, you'll keep walking. You'll give me a dollar and say you're sorry the next time. That's fine, whatever. But you know that we're so endowed with power, right? So I'm going to end it up with one thing, okay? Microsoft. We're working on Azure AI right now. It's not a problem for us. We're even going to make hardware better, right? But I need you guys to know that you got to have good solutions. you got to have healthy relationships to the net. Invest in the domestic market. Maybe, you know, there are Americans that don't like you for racial reasons or religious reasons or social reasons. But in the end, we're all we really have is each other. Because, you know, we have to defend this legal system. Even when fucking Trump pays for international judges or diplomats to fucking ruin everything that we stand for. Uh, I don't want to hear you guys ever claiming I'm broke in New York. I'm so endowed with wealth and power that you know you'll steal art from me every chance you get. And then look at me in the face and lie. Right? That's what white silence is. We rape you, we abuse your kids, we abuse your art, we abuse your career, we use mind control to keep you sick and stupid, we even push you out of home and out of a job, and when you're done, we'll try to kill you again, all right? So I invest in better technology. We use jets, we use regeneration, we use uh, cloud software, we use biotech, we use all that shit. So wherever you guys are walking, you're stuck in the middle base economy. You gotta go to offices and lie every fucking day about software you stole from us at Mac OS X and Microsoft Windows. Fine, you keep doing that, but know this how you see me and you'll never pay me to a man into a brum. You don't even really resolve your banking with me. You gotta walk right past me and lie. So keep that bullshit going. Everybody that had to sell this psychosis and abuse to yourselves about your grief and your shame, it's just gonna leave you stuck and hurt in the end. So I gotta transcend that shit. For me, it's just a tiger style, right? I tell the truth, I leave that hurt behind, I purge my guilt and disease, and I go to the next level, right? Clean energy, sustainable development, organic agriculture right employ the finest horticulture god provide why lie advance straight to love all right that's it today friends my real name malik rousseau francois right i spelled a few already it has the ligatures and everything in it spelled in all caps we're not selling uh indolence to this government they don't honor the natural law right biblical law does not apply to me uh, I'm not going to use some old mythological tome about a God I can't address. I've experienced metaphysical circumstances. I've seen extraordinary things. You know, um, I've been mutilated. I've been put back together. Not by my own wills, but by someone that sought me out and favored me to love. Uh, I just needed someone to back me in the righteous way. You guys have stopped me many times in New York City over your own bipolar disorder and your own grievances, and you'll go back to work a couple years later selling fake and chicane. Don't even fucking try that shit, all right? Honor your true self. Be ready to evolve. And lastly, um, what's the other thing I was going to say? Um, that's it, friends. Be ready to be your real self and be ready to love, okay? So that's it, man. I'm in New York City, Astoria, Queens, New York State, United States of America. Okay, ready? Omaya, Yoruba, Americua, Amexum. Right, you heard? That's it. Islam and Imhotep. The day today is October 5th, 2020, 7 10 p.m., right? Remain wise, remain learned. That is all, friends. End transmission. Brome ducats. <laughs>